Hey, uh, welcome to this week's edition of Personal Finance with Jay Crater, a bittersweet edition as it will be my final uh, uh, missive to you uh, as the Rideshare Guy contributor to this particular weekly video. In today's video, I'm going to cover the economy. I'm going to cover uh, the stimulus and unemployment. I'm going to share some readers' comments, all right? I'm going to share with you uh, a way you can make 10K per month as a virtual assistant, and I'll share with you why this will be my last video for quite a while, all right? All that and more coming up in this episode of Personal Finance This Week with Jay Crater. All right, hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Ride Share Guy, drinking my last Nespresso with you for a while. It's 7 a.m. on Sunday, and um, yeah, so let's just jump right into it, all right? Uh, let's start with the economy, all right? Number one, the economy. So the economy is on very shaky terms right now. Uh, if you look at the stock market, it had its first down week in uh, about three weeks. And um, even though it's still technically bullish, uh, people are kind of on pins and needles because they're waiting to see what happens with this stimulus package. Uh, there was like positive news at the beginning of the week and now it just seems to be meandering. Um, probably what's more impacting the economy right now is this. We are hitting all time highs in terms of cases of coronavirus. Here's CNN Health, US reports second highest day of coronavirus cases since the pandemic began. The highest day was Friday. So we've just had the two highest days of cases. And even though fewer people as a percentage are dying, uh, more cases does mean more people are gonna be dying from this. And that's just not good for anyone. Uh, and it's certainly not good for the economy and for business, right? Cause that means things have to get shut down and um, yeah, it's just we're not managing it very, very well. So that's the state of the economy today. Number two, stimulus and unemployment. Well, they kind of go together because the unemployment extension of those bigger benefits are all tied into the stimulus. The executive orders that Trump uh, signed, uh, those have all uh, expired, right? We all got our five or six weeks um, of money. So we're sort of dependent on uh, what happens with the stimulus package. It didn't get, nothing got done. Um, as you can see here, Pelosi, Mnuchin blame, uh, trade blame on unending stimulus stalemate. So they're blaming each other. Stimulus checks could take weeks or months to arrive as Pelosi and Mnuchin remain locked in negotiations, right? And there's Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi has said the House still has time to vote before the election if the administration makes further compromises. All right, so the more things change, the more things stay the same. So it's more hurry up and wait. And uh, people are suffering out there. It's very frustrating uh, time uh, to be an American. Number three, questions and comments from viewers. So there were two videos last week. Uh, one was uh, my final payment of the um, executive order payments, uh, the $300 payments. Uh, let's see, Mark LeBlanc uh, says uh, he got some help and he hopes you all get some help too. <clears throat> uh, Black, Block, Block Minch, yeah. Uh, says, enjoy your coffee. Nice, thank you. Uh, Adrian, like the recommendations in Mexico. Cannot recommend Z Wataneo anymore. Uh, thanks for the information. Take care. Thanks, Johnny. Um, Mike Lipscomb, um, his, his unemployment has been on hold for four weeks and it's really frustrating. I know in California, um, I would have to call for several hours just to be able to talk to somebody. And I mean, dial in every single second of the, of the day. Eddie Cuevas um, appreciates uh, getting up to date with what's going on in the gig world and news. All right, then I did a second video. I was asked to do a video about California because People like Joe Rogan are leaving California. And uh, I found this first comment interesting, Retro Red. All positive things you said about California are superficial. Main reason why people are moving out is because of higher taxes. 
Well, Red, I'm gonna say, I don't, I don't think so. Um, what's superficial? I mean, I, 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 I mentioned the beauty of the state. I mentioned the weather uh, here in the state, the lack of humidity, um, the lack of bugs. These are all things that affect you every single day. Some things are more expensive in life, and usually there's a reason why they call, they're, they're more expensive, because uh, there's more quality. And then there are other things that are more like bargains, and they don't have quite the same amount of quality, right? So I've traveled all over this country. I lived in Boston. I lived in Chicago. I lived in Mississippi. I spent some good time in Tennessee and in Texas and in Louisiana. And um, I don't know, for me, California has the best lifestyle. Um, let's look at some more comments. Let's see, Roy says, uh, I'm being herded into a socialistic system. Again, Roy, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I, <laughs> I get up, I go outside, I can do whatever I want. Right. Uh, buy food, I can buy whatever I want, I can travel, you know, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about, the socialistic uh, system. So yes, we do pay more in taxes and we do seem to have more of a concern for homeless here than in other states. And I'm okay with paying a little more for that uh, to have the lifestyle that I have here in California. All right, next, uh, Ben Shapiro and his business are moving from LA to Nashville, okay, no state income tax. Yeah, my buddy lives in uh, Nashville. Uh, shout out to Doug at Gabby's Burgers and Fries, the best hamburgers in the state of Tennessee. And that's beautiful. I mean, there's no, the, we live in America and every place has its, its great, great points. You know, I, I loved living in Chicago for the time I was there. It was a little too cold for me, right? I loved living in Mississippi. It was a little too muggy in the summer for me, right? Uh, same with Boston, you know, <laughs> really cold in the winter and really hot and muggy um, in the summertime. So I realize uh, for many people, that's a wonderful life. You know, you've got all those varieties of seasons. And then there are people like me that just kind of like it warm all the time and uh, not too muggy. So that's what makes the world go around. Um, am I the right share guy or the political guy? Well. Uh, when talking about finances, uh, politics definitely plays a role in that. And uh, Zach Bell does not want me coming to Texas because I don't know how to handle mosquito bites. <laughs> okay, um, Zach, I will not come to Texas, I promise. Okay, number four. I shared this with you guys about two months ago, and uh, the link for this is down below, and it's called uh, 10KVA, all right? So if you're looking for your plan B, and you got some skills, uh, some digital skills, you know, you can type, you're, you're good on a computer, um, definitely check this out. It's a little course, it'll show you how you can uh, get up to 10K per month working as a virtual assistant. What if you could start making $10,000 a month by leveraging skills you already have? Look, I work with coaches, that's my plan B right now, is I coach coaches on how to get leads using Facebook. And all the people that I work with and all the people that I talk to um, have a certain set of skills and there are other things that they don't want to do. And that's where the VAs uh, come in, the virtual assistants. So as there's more and more coaches and more and more stuff being done on the internet, the demand for good quality virtual assistants is high. So uh, it's definitely something to check out. Five, the last one. Why is this the last one? I am leaving uh, the rideshare guy. Well, I'm not exactly leaving, but I'm, I'm taking a big hiatus. So. Um, my plan B has become my plan A, and then I have a plan C, which has now become my plan B, and the rideshare guy has dropped down to plan C. So I realized on my trip to Mexico that I need more time, and uh, filling in my time with doing videos and writing articles is not the best use of my time anymore. And uh, my, my other two activities are taking up more of my time, and um, they're starting to pay off. So, I so while I love doing these videos, um, you know, take some time. I got to do some research and then I got to kind of lay it all out and then I got to record it and then I got to edit it. And, uh, you know, and so usually on the weekends and I'm at the point where I just want to have my weekends to myself where I can just recover from my Monday through Friday activities. So I said to Harry and Melissa and the gang that I would like this to be my last video. Um, they were gracious and said, if there's anything I ever want to do in the future, you know, I want to make a video on a specific topic, like maybe after the election, I might want to, you know, say something about that. I'm welcome to. So you'll see me once in a while, 
but uh, not on a regular basis like it has been for the last uh, three, uh, almost three years. I've been driving, I started almost five years ago. Uh, as you know, I've done 26,000 rides, but not much driving in the last year. Here's a picture when I first met Harry. Uh, that was in San Francisco, just off 24th Street. There's an alley with a bunch of murals. Uh, he and I had a really nice uh, seafood meal, and, um, and then we took a little walk. And, and then this next picture is a picture I took. Uh, I had done a, a series where I drove a taxi for a week in San Francisco to see what that was like. And uh, a lot of the media wanted a, a picture. So I got a picture of me with the, you know, the Golden Gate Bridge in the background there. And that was my trusty Prius, which I drove for most of my uh, career. I put so many, over like 250,000 miles on that car. It was such a good deal because it was on a lease with unlimited miles. So, um, so that's that. That's why I'm leaving. And uh, I'll see you around. Key takeaways today. Go out, enjoy your coffee. Mm. Go take a vacation, man. I, I, I just took a vacation and it was so good for me and it really gave me time to kind of clear my head and get my priorities lined up, you know, uh, marinate a little bit in things and uh, give things a little bit of air. And that's where I really realized I needed to kind of prioritize some things. And uh, yeah, so that's my key takeaway. You know, with the world going as crazy as it is, take some time to, your, to yourself to kind of think things through um, to kind of sit with things, not to rush things. And uh, that seems to be a good approach as we go through the chaos, which we're currently experiencing. All right. So hey everybody, it's Jay Crater saying thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Absolutely subscribe to the to the uh, YouTube channel. Every single day there's a video uh, in, in the gig economy, rideshare driving, finance, things that can help you make more money in less time. You'll go out and have a great day. I'll see you down the road somewhere. Be safe out there. Go vote. Go wear a mask. Go vote. Go vote. Go vote.